Hello guys, so welcome back in this video. This is part two of SQLite CRUD operations. In the last video, we have seen how to create this user interface. In this video, we are going to do integration of database. So in order to do so, we need to add a couple of dependencies. Just go to PubSpec and we need to add two dependency. SQL flight. This is required to interact with SQLite database. And the second one is path provider. So this is basically required in order to get the path of file system where we can store our database. Let's save it in order to fetch these dependencies and you can close this now. So now we need to do what? We need to add one database file in order to handle operations with the database let's create a new file let's say my database dot dot so some people might use the naming convention as database handler you can use that as well let's open this and simply create this my database class so first of all we want to create a private constructor here so that nobody can create instance as many as times required so we will be just making it private so that we can get a singleton object so let's create private constructor so simply use my database dot underscore any name so let's give it private constructor so that we can identify easily okay so whenever any constructor is called we need to return one instance let's quickly return one instance let's say my database so what we do is we just create a instance over here so static final my database underscore let's give it database and is equal to my database dot private constructor so this we can return it from here whenever this constructor is going to be called and you need to make it factory method that's fine we need one database variable as well data this that is static late database and Let's give it db. I just change it to my database underscore. And this one should be database. Now we need a couple of variables here. Final string table name. Let's give it employee table final string column id is equal to imp id final string column name is equal to name final string column designation equal to designation And the last one is final string column is mail is equal to is mail columns are defined now we need a function to initialize database so let's give it name initialize database and we just make it a sync here first of all we need to get the path where to store database so how do you do so there is a function get application documents directory and this I'm gonna give you something back so we can cross check it so this gave us directory back so let's create a directory variable
and we can import this and since it is future so let's use await from the structure we can create the path so let's create string path is equal to so we need to first of all get the directory path here directory dot path so this is gonna give us path so we need to concat our database name along with this so let's simply use interpolation like this and simply give it name table or you can simply give the database name mp dot db and done now we need to create database let's create database and in order to create database we need to call one function open database so let me just specify the path we already have then we have version as well so we can give it to one so this path is required and these are not required but we need to use this on create depending upon our requirement you can use these on upgrade and downgrade so let's use on create and simply use this and this basically give us one database back that database we can assign to this late variable we have defined probably so let's put it await and yeah so now we left with this database creation part so you can see this function for on create is giving us db and version so with this db you can execute the query execute and you can pass your sql statement so let's just use this and for reference put the semicolon here and so once it is executed it's gonna give us something back nope so it is basically future so we need to just specify await and since it is future await we need to use async here as well so let's update this query so create table table name we will be getting from that variable and then we have this id that is dollar column id and you can use integer primary key for the same that's fine and for name we have dollar column name and text is fine let me save it and next we have this column designation dollar column designation that is again text next we have dollar column is mail which is boolean basically and query is fine okay so this is gonna create a database and initialize it to this variable we have defined here okay now what we left with we have done with major things now we just left with that crud operations so let's create a retrieve first get employ let's say list and async and let's define this return type future that would be list of we have employ model yes that's fine so now let's come to the body part so there are basically two ways like one of the ways you can use raw query database dot raw query yep and you can write your sql statement here like select a struct from the table name so let me just use this from dollar table name and this is gonna give you what this is gonna give you a list of map and objects let's assign it here like this and I just need to use a weight okay this is one way another way is this is basically not employees we need to convert it so let's keep it as a result 
So another way is we can just comment this and use their database dot query method and here you need to specify table name that's all if you want some uh, extra like some uh, you can say group by having limit or something like this or where something then you can use it so we can simply try with order by and we will use column name okay and this is how you can do so so once you got the result you can simply return it so what we can do we can simply just change this return type to this response type so that we can cast it uh, on the ui side so let's keep it simple like this so this is for read operation same way i can do what i can just copy this and paste for let's say insert so insert employee and we need employee object and instead of using this query we can simply say insert and this insert gonna take let me just clear this and you can better see this so this gonna take the table name that we already have this video and the values so this value should be as a map but we have this object okay so in order to do so what we need we just need to go to this employee so we already have created this for converting to map so just this one is used like this to employ we just go back here and so use employ dot to map and so what's wrong so we cannot assign this like this so since the return type is of int type so you cannot put it into this so result is int and so we can return int here and this would be rows inserted and this would be rows inserted so simple we can just remove this you can also use raw query if you want so two operations are done same way we just quickly complete with the rest and then we will cross check everything let's use update and update and rows updated use here use here and just change this to update and do we need to change anything yes we need to add where argument over here so where we need to add the criteria so let's use string dollar column id is equal to question mark and that would be handled by where argument which is taking one list and the argument would be what employee dot id save this and same way for delete let's change this to delete employee and rows deleted change this change this to delete and we need to add some argument over here so what's wrong with this let's quickly check so it is asking for where and then we don't need this actually so let's simply specify where where simply you can use this and everything is fine okay fine yeah all done so if you want you can additionally add one more here for counting let's use one more here if you want you can display the count on the heading so let's use count employees and for that uh, it is a little tricky so let me go up and use this or you can use this rock very this time that would be easy i just go down here and 
paste it here we can remove this and we can use this rock query over here we are we will be saying select asterisk so we will say select count asterisk from table name so how do you get count now you can say simply int count is equal to just to remove this and return this count and this would be coming from static method of sqlite the sql sqlite class dot we have first int value so from this response we are getting that first int value we need to pass this result over here in order to get that so since this is gonna give you optional value we can cross check for the null if it is null simply return zero so simple so i think that's all we have okay that's fine so this portion is complete let's go back to ui part and first of all we just go to add employee and once user is clicking on add button we need to insert or what we can do we just go to the home page first of all and instead of using this let's comment the static values and what we need to do first of all we need a database so let's create my database underscore my database is equal to my database so this is fine now in order to keep count we can just use one int count of employees so let's use zero now once the page is loaded we need to get the data get data from db and i just make it a sync and we need to initialize this database yes don't forget that let's go here and use that initialize database so once it is initialized we can call that uh, so this should be basically a wait and once it is initialized we can simply use my database dot get employee list and we can simply assign it to the variable of let's use this list and since it is future let's await for the same and here we are getting a map so let's iterate through that map as i was doing over there int i is equal to zero i is less than this map dot length i plus plus and here we can add this into this employees list so simply say employees dot add so it is looking for let me just go and go check here we have this this two map yeah which takes a map and give us employee back so let's use here employee to employ and just to use this map over here with index i perfect at the same time you can also call this my database dot employee count yep so we don't need any employee here let me just update this count and just remove this save this go back to home page and remove this this is not required and since everything is future let's use await here as well and this would be sign to count variable and once everything is done you can simply set the state and say is loading to false i think that's all uh, if i'm not missing yeah so that's all we need to just call this into this
so let's save this and try to reload this so let me just stop this and run it again okay so we are not getting anything so let's do what we just go to the home and we need to add one more condition over here so we can do what we can check for the count of employees as well so employees dot length is less than one then you can simply display one message at no employee yet okay so we can just replace this with his empty that's all just save this you can see we don't have any employee yet so that's why it is coming okay so let's now move to this add employee so whenever user tap on this floating action button and we are navigating to add employee and here we need to pass that my database object so let's assign it my database and simply say here just use comma required this dot database and we just go here and update it quickly remove this const and say my database my database home page is fine let's go to add employee here so here we got this database and we need to use it over here so let's go to this add employee button here let's create one employee here first of all and all these values should be coming from id controller dot text and since it is taking integer we need to cast convert it int dot parse and just use this and let me just put a semicolon over here and for employee name we just need name controller dot text designation controller dot text and for mail so we are using is so we are using is female over here so what we can do we can just use negation of this that's fine so we have data ready now just use that uh, widget dot my database dot insert employee and pass this employee you can further add checks like if the id is not entered designation is not entered and so on so i'm just doing it simple use await here and just mark it async and once this is done we can show a scaffold messenger dot of context dot show snack bar snack bar and for context simply use a text widget and say dollar employee dot name edit and we are getting something here let's cross check so okay so we should not use this under a synchronous context so what we can do we can check for the mounting in order to avoid the problem if mounted variable 
if it is true then we can just show the snack bar and we can even navigate to home screen back we can simply use push and remove until and just route is false so that it can clear previous routes and use here material page route and with the builder we can use this function which is going to home page and just use cost here so all done with this okay so let's just restart it and was error coming here Okay, let it be so we just go here and try to add employee with some id one and name let's give it rio and designation let's give it journal manager and it's mail that's fine add it and we got something wrong So here we have a problem like the table has no column named ID. So this is very common problem whenever you will do. So this is a problem that the names of the columns here should be same used in this employee. So here, so this should be matched. So make sure this thing. Okay, so let me quickly update this. So we are using ID here. And I just go to, let's close this database part. And go here on the top. And here we can simply use ID. And just go back here. To use name. Go back here. On the top. Name, name is fine. And designation and ismail so let's go back here go back on the top designation and ismail so let's stop this and remove this app and just run it again so you need to make sure all these things okay so let's go to add and give it some id one let's give it name rio and general manager and it's mail just add it and again we got a problem here so here we need to do one more thing we need to check one condition here if it is one then you can return true since it is handling boolean this data type is boolean otherwise we just make it false we, this is fine so let's quickly restart this and add a new employee again so i think it is added yep so that's fine so let's try to add one more to cross check second let's say eric let's give it a name manager oops this is designation and again it is mail just add it you can see it is added over here so let's quickly add the decoration part in add employees we have added snack bar and here use background color that is color start green save this okay let's try to add one more let's give it a id three let's say puja and she's reception officer and female okay just add it and you can see green color snack bar puja added and this is fine so we have done with this adding operation let's go to the home page and add delete operation as well so simply search for delete 
and here simply do what underscore my database dot delete employee and just pass the employee which employee so employee you will be getting from employees and index and same way what you can do just use that add employee code here copy this go back here and just go here we we'll just use this await here since everything is async and we need to wrap it into if mounted and yeah so here we need to say simply employee name is deleted let's create one variable here copy this remove this once it is string is equal to employee index dot employee name and this is deleted and the color we can make it red and just save it let's try to delete this eric and you can see eric deleted now we need to update let's go to this files and simply go to edit employee let me quickly just remove this error as well by renaming it to my underscore database into lowercase okay refactor and just go to edit employee and again here once you tap on this we need to pass employee and is it working let's go to this and we can see this information three puja fine so if i want to change anything i just again need to do the same thing we have done in the add here so i just copy the data from this add employee and paste it over here copy this go back here paste it over here and just convert it into a sync function and my database we are not getting here so what we can do we just quickly update this this is edit employee and along with the employee we need my database and simply say required this dot my database and here we need to do what everything is fine and here we will say updated and you can change it to let's say orange and this is showing error so import this home page that's fine what else let's go on the top and see let's remove this save this go back to home page and we need to pass second argument as well that is my database my database that's all let's quickly restart it otherwise in between some of the things are not cached so let's try to update this puja from puja to puja sharma let's give it update and we have not added update over there so let's close this close this and simply go to edit employee and we missed to update this function that is update employee that's all let's quickly restart this let's update this puja to puja sharma and update and you can see this is updated so we have done with insert update delete and retrieve operation and uh, we have added one more function 
for counting let's go to home page and display the count on the top in the app bar so let's go to this app bar and here employ and here we can simply say dollar count and just remove this cost and save it you can see two employees let's add one more let's say this is four and simply say rohan and that is field manager and again just change it to ruhi and just change to female and add it yep so everything is working fine that's all for this video so what is wrong here let me just remove this thing as well so this class let me just fix it it should be immutable so let me just simply write here final and add a const here and just save it so that's all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section thank you